Hey, this is Isara with UX in Motion, and I'm gonna show you how to retime your UI animation for a client presentation in After Effects. Okay, so why are we doing this? What's the point here? Well, what I've found is that sometimes when you're building like UI animation that's gonna be shipped, that's gonna be actually put into a product, which hopefully it will be, um, you're making that as tight and as fast and as clean as absolutely possible. That means using the, like, the least amount of frames. Um, and so that's great, except sometimes what will happen is when you want to show it in process to your team or to stakeholders or a client project, um, sometimes it's just too fast and they're like kind of freaked out and it's just, it's just too fast for them. So what I like to do sometimes, this is just a judgment call on your part, but I just want to show you how I would do it. I'll just slow it down a little bit. So I'll have my, like my presentation version and then I'll have my final version which will get shipped and built. So let me show you how I would do that. And so again, um, this, this example is from a blog post that I did and I will link to that blog post if you wanna know how to do this. This is like a cool uh, kind of jelly effect thing. Always a neat thing to know for your projects. Um, and hey, if you've never worked with After Effects before but you really wanna know it and maybe you have a project that you just got handed to you and you're like freaking out, uh, I have a free UI animation fast start uh, course. So I'll have the link in the description. Click that, you'll get a free course and you'll be set. It's just really quick and it gets you uh, like up and running. It's for UX and UI designers who've never done this kind of work before. Um, also, if you like this video, hit subscribe, hit like. I'll just be posting UI uh, like animation courses for uh, like After Effects this is what I love to do. So I'll be sharing that with you. Okay, let's check it out. So in this example here, you can see that this is pretty tight. And I could tighten this down more, like if this was like the actual final thing that I was going to spec out. But let's just call this good. Let's say like this is the version that we're going to go with. And now I just want to slow it down for client presentation. Now, obviously you could duplicate your project and just start playing with keyframes, right? But you may have a complex project. You just kind of want to retime the whole thing globally. I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. The first way is just like the fastest way and that might just be good enough for you. So check this out. I'm gonna click and drag my main comp to create a new composition down here. And I'm gonna call that um, uh, stretch. Okay, now um, what'll happen is one thing is that your new composition, the duration will be the duration of the old one. So if you've made it so that it's kind of like the full width here, you're, you're going to have to extend your uh, composition. So all you have to do is hit Command K, and then where it says duration, just add like a one, you know, to do like a times 10. So you just add like a big number, and now you have all this time, because if you don't do that, you can't really extend this time, right? You just hit the end of your entire uh, composition. So once you've done that, what you want to do is stretch it. Now you may not see that. So if you, if your project looks like this and you're like, hey, you sorry, I'd love to stretch it, but dude, I don't see that <laughs> that thing anywhere. Click this little weird expand collapse thing down here, and what you should see is this little stretch column. And all you have to do is just click and drag, and it will literally just stretch your thing out. And so you can just stretch it, whatever you want, really. Um, you know, I think usually around you know, 140, 150 is like good. It's not like doing it a lot, but it's kind of showing the mechanics a little bit more so that if you're showing it in a presentation or a deck or a Slack channel, you, you, can, you can share it. You can also include the, uh, you know, the uh, caveat that you're slowing it down so folks can just really look at the behavior um, and just keep track of these, like use file names and stuff so this doesn't get confused with the final thing because I would hate for you to have a final project that's just crazy slow and then it turns out that the file name, you know, got confused. So that's the fastest way. You can also, if you want, make it faster globally. So I'll do that sometimes too. If when I'm working on a really complex thing and I just really don't want to bother with all the keyframes, I'll just do this. And, it, and what's nice about this is you can actually find the sweet spot. Like this actually feels probably about right for what you'd want for an actual product. So I just slowed this down by half. This will happen all the time when you're working is that uh, you know, you're know you watching it and you think it's fast enough, but again, the whole point of designing products that, are, that feel good and responsive is it has to be as fast as possible. If not, it feels slow, unresponsive, and sluggish. So I really want you, to, when you're building these, to just fight for the fewest frames as possible. 
Um, that's how you would do that. Now the other way I will show you is using time remapping, which is a little crazy, but it's really cool. It's a little bit more advanced. So again, I just duplicated my project. I just clicked and dragged it to this composition here, hit Command K, and I'm gonna add a number, just replace the zero with the one, so I have a lot of room. Now I'm gonna use time re remapping in it. I think it's under like layer, enable time remapping. The, the command is Command Shift, Command Option T. Command Option T is the command there. Now, what that does is it actually makes time, I swear, I, I'm, not, I'm not making this up, this is some crazy stuff. It makes time a keyframable property. So what this looks like is now time has keyframes. So what I could do if I wanted to speed it up is I could just grab this keyframe here and you'll see that past this, everything's gone. So if I just preview this, I just sped it up. Now I can also slow it down. I can drag it out as far as I want but I have to extend my layer. So just make sure you click and drag that and then make sure you extend your work uh, like area here. And again, if none of this makes sense, if, if this is just way too advanced, watch my fast start. Um, that will explain a lot. It's free, it's a uh, uh, fun course, but check this out. You've just really, you've slowed it down using keyframes. And of course you can apply easing and do all this crazy stuff. You can have, you know, multiple keyframes. You can do a whole uh, like edit here where if you're actually doing these keyframes, it'll actually like start to play back because you're using that data. So this is more advanced, but it gives you crazy amount of control. So uh, don't forget to click and download this tutorial file uh, for free and just you know play with it at your leisure. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this again, please hit subscribe and hit the like button uh, and I'll just be posting more of these kinds of training for your UI animation projects. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Isara and I will see you in the next video.